As she faces losing her congressional seat come November, Representative Liz Cheney has enlisted the help of her father and former Vice President Dick Cheney. Check out this ad. In our nation's 246 year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He tried to steal the last election using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. He is a coward. A real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. He lost his election and he lost big. I know it, he knows it, and deep down, I think most Republicans know it. Lynn and I are so proud of Liz for standing up for the truth, doing what's right, honoring her oath to the Constitution, when so many in our party are too scared to do so. Liz is fearless. She never backs down from a fight. There is nothing more important she will ever do and lead the effort to make sure Donald Trump is never again near the Oval Office. And she will succeed. I am Dick Cheney. I proudly voted for my daughter. I hope you will too. I'm Liz Cheney and I approve this message. Uh, Katie, I know you. You're gonna yeah. need some tissue. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, I was think, afraid. Katie I mean, was weeping I silently. Was weeping, yeah. I was afraid it's that uh, he was gonna shoot the cameraman in the <laughs> face, and that that's it was the way the clip was gonna end with the cameraman dropping the camera. One of uh, one of my favorite moments is Sasha Baron Cohen on his absolutely hilarious show, Who Is America? It was on Showtime a couple years ago. Got Dick Cheney to sign his waterboard oh as my God. one of his characters. That's amazing. It's pretty good. I mean, pretty good. Hearing Dick Cheney talk about you and I probably will disagree on this, but a stolen election. It's like he's just lo like uh, lording it over Donald Trump that he actually successfully stole his and Donald <laughs> Trump just tried to steal it. Well, this is, a, this is a great tweet actually from Sean Davis at The Federalist um, in response to what was said in the ad. Sean said, John Wilkes Booth assassinated the president and tried to kill slash capture two other cabinet members in a desperate bid to prevent the union from winning a literal civil war. Get a grip. It's not like Trump started a disastrous 20 year war right. over non existent words. Right. I mean, it's like you could just go down the list. Like maybe Jefferson Davis was a greater threat to the Republic. Yeah. I mean, I would put the Bushes honestly up there, Bush and Cheney. And as everyone knows, Dick Cheney was the like puppeteer uh, to. Uh, to to George Bush's marionette. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, W. I mean, the invasion of Iraq and uh, basically doing everything that Trump uh, didn't even try to do in some ways. I mean, Trump was less of a hawk. He was erratic. He did very irresponsible things. But in some ways, I mean, he was less of a hawk than Bush. And Bush has a higher body count than Trump does. So I don't think that's good for the republic. It's pretty wild. Well, yeah, yeah this is a man who started wars, saying someone who didn't start any wars, and in fact tried to sort of get us on the off ramp in right. Afghanistan with, is the which greater Liz threat. Which Liz Cheney didn't want him to do. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, and I'm sure Dick Cheney didn't either. Right. Um, and you know, I would love to be in the decision making process for this because it's amazing how how like in their own heads and in their own little world they are that anyone thought this was a way to boost the Cheney campaign right. was to like get a cameraman get Dick Cheney out there not Christian Bale but the real the right, real yeah. thing yeah. Um, and get him put out him there put him in a hat put him in a hat well yeah. you know it's very natural for him to wear the hat I know, it felt so authentic you feel like he just rolled out of bed and shot that ad he's he's wearing the vest wearing so the vest. He I sleeps assume in the he hat was in the vest actually the oh only, no he was ranching well yeah the only the only thing we are left to assume is that he just got off the ranch right he, was, he just got off the ranch yeah, exactly feel, yeah of course yeah he was well, charlie horse yeah <laughs> that's why his voice is a little weak yeah he, the man was busy okay yeah the bottom line yeah shooting people in the face which i'll never forget and that's what he did to a friend so imagine how he treats you if you're not a friend i'll take you i'll take you bird hunting katie okay good <laughs> But this this whole clip was to set that up, yeah. so that you promised to do that on air. We'll go up to Wisconsin. We'll we'll shoot some pheasants and maybe some people. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, even if Liz Cheney's time in Congress is limited, her political career is by no means DOA, or at least that's what CNN would have you believe. Casey Hunt pressed Cheney on a 2024 presidential run and asked whether Americans are quote ready. For, I can't even say it with a straight face. Ready for a woman to run things. Let's watch. They might be Democrats who would vote for a Cheney. Yeah. Pretty remarkable. Um, you said in your Reagan library speech, men are running the world and it's really not going all that well. Do you think voters here in the U.S. are ready for a woman to run things? Uh, sure. Um, look, I think that um, one of the things that has been very um, moving for me over the course of the last year and a half has been uh, the reaction of women 
and not not just the women who've testified, although you know we've seen the incredible bravery of people like Cassidy Hutchinson and Sarah Matthews um, and Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss and Caroline Edwards. Um, it takes real bravery to stand up and tell the truth as those women have. And I think that's been really important. Based on that, do you think, you're, you think your father, does Dick Cheney want Liz Cheney to run for president in 2024? Um, Dick Cheney is a big Liz Cheney supporter. <laughs> I mean, Dick Cheney is such a sociopath. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't support his own daughter, but obviously politically he would. Girls can drone too. Yeah, girls can drone too. Yeah, I, what, I wonder what the women in Iraq would like to say. You know, does she want to listen to their testimony about how their lives were changed by the uh, Cheney Bush families? Do you remember those ads in the 90s? I can't forget if it was like Nike or Gatorade, but it was Michael Jordan and Mia Hamm. And it was like, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. And they were doing that song. And it was right. like, girls can do things better yeah. too. Yeah. I would love to see an ad of Liz Cheney, like with Dick Cheney right. pushing the button for drones. That would be great. Yeah. Anything you can do, I can do yeah. better. And that's how she becomes president. That would be great. Yeah. And that, that song, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better, comes from Annie Oakley, I think. So perfect. You got the cowboy hats already on there. They could perform it and it's great it'd be great yeah well and you know there's a if that's the shot the chaser is another clip from cnn which i really encourage everyone to check out randy k was in wyoming asking people if they're voting for liz cheney and the responses were just incredible so while you have casey hunt uh flirting with the presidential possibility for liz cheney um and putting that on everyone's radar that wonderful thought into the universe um where the cnn was just like talking to actual people in wyoming about will they vote for Liz Cheney and why not was ultimately the question because everybody was like, hell no. Right. <laughs> it's just a perfect side by side if you watch both of those clips, um, courtesy of, of CNN's new attempt to kind of rebrand. Yeah, I mean, just having Dick Cheney be part of any get out of the vote is, is a remarkable thing to do. Mm. You know, yeah, I mean, that's another great question. Like who on earth does that appeal to? Right, yeah, seriously, who? Didn't work on us. Yeah, and didn't work on us. We are hashtag feminists. Group. Yeah, hashtag feminists. Yeah, didn't work on us. I don't want uh, Liz. I'd, I'd be okay with. I'd rather another male president to uh, Liz Cheney for president. Yeah. And I'm a feminist who believes women can be president. Just don't want that one. Yeah. Hashtag girl boss. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, enjoy if you go and check that CNN clip out on the voters. It's really funny. Yeah. Uh, but. We'll see what Liz Cheney decides to do going forward. There's almost no way she's going to win this re-election right. bid. All this, right. I mean, I don't know. The Dick Cheney act could change, could be a game changer. The guy's so charismatic. <laughs> Seeing him look into the camera. Jumps off the screen. So, yeah, it's so moving. <laughs> well, we will have more rising for you right after this.